Hey guys, we're here at our Maple Ridge location and we just finished up this Jeep. Cool thing about this Jeep YJ, it's a 1990 and you guys might notice that the power plant is different. A lot of people like to do these. Now what makes this one special is, is how clean everything is. The customer claimed to us because they wanted to do a complete wire cleanup and a huge upgrade. So you see here we have two batteries under the hood. That's going to help us run our winch, lighting, audio system. All our power distribution and safeties over here. So we have our circuit breakers over here, our battery isolation. And another cool thing is how our MSD box is mounted. So a lot of people will build it onto the fender, onto the firewall. Here it's tucked away by the washer fluid so you don't see it, leaving more room for serviceability on other parts of the engine. Now a typical thing you'll see on most motor builds is you'll have a lot of beautiful parts, but the wiring kind of sticks out. The way that the connectors are done and the way it's ran, you notice it a lot. Now even though these don't have a lot of electronics, there's only sensors on this and electric choke, there's still wiring that you have to conceal and make reliable. Part of the big upgrade was actually full wire done by Adam Yamamoto. So there's a full painless kit in here and what we get is, is a very clean underdash with tons of aftermarket attached to it, but now everything's fused and very serviceable, so that way if another technician has to work on the vehicle, it's easy for them to figure out what's going on. As you can see, aftermarket doesn't have to be messy. Looking at this vehicle, it looks like it came from Jeep this way. So looking at the Jeep dash, at first glance, it looks pretty factory. However, all the gauges are aftermarket. Also, all the indicators and switches are completely custom and built in-house. So we'll turn on our lights. Everything serves a purpose and is functional. And the cool thing is when you look at our, the switch panel over here, it actually correlates with the indicators on the dash because they're so far off, it's not really in your peripheral. So if we turn on the light bar, see the indicator, We'll also turn on on the dash. Rear lights. Now that's a nice option that Adam put in. So when you are off-roading, you're not really moving the vehicle quickly. You're crawling a lot. Basically the vehicle is idling or you're pushing it hard, but it's not moving, so you're not getting a lot of air through the radiator. So what we decided to do for the customer is, by pushing this button over here, we can turn on the electric fan manually. That way we can keep the engine temperatures under control. For the heading we went with Rockford Fosgate Power Sports, the reason being is it's an off-road vehicle, the top's not gonna to be on it, we need something that's easy to use, and it's gonna be durable for how this vehicle is gonna be intended to be used. Now for the head unit with Rockford Fosgate's Power Sport. So the reason for this head unit and a vehicle application like this is because we need a head unit that was easy to use, durable, and for the environment it's going to be in, this one fits the bill. You might also notice that the mounting system for it is completely custom and ties in with the rest of the vehicle. It's very low key, but you can see there's quite a bit of effort made for it. Now for the wet sound speakers, you can see that it's simple Durability is the main thing, but there's still a lot of design here. So instead of just doing typical rectangular enclosures, you can see there's tons of angles here that Adam's put in just to give it way more detail and just give it that cool factor. 
If you're wondering where the amplifier is, it's underneath this protective composite cover, and it's designed to mimic a gas can, essentially, so when you look at it, it doesn't look out of place. Detail and theme are key, so when we look at the head unit mounting system, as you go down on the center console, you see that there's a little cup holder made that follows the same theme as well. Well, this vehicle's loud, but let's show you guys how loud it is. Walking around the vehicle, looking at the profile, you have, this is where you really start to appreciate the design of these enclosures because it's meeting up with the body line, but then it takes on a life of its own, but then it's tying in with the roll bar as well. So everything kind of just makes sense when we look at it. There's also still some more functionality. So there's even dome lights built into it. So when we're working back here or if we need to get some gear out, it makes it a little bit more functional. Let's go ahead and check out the dome light feature of this Jeep. So lights by the footwell. The lights and the speakers will then turn on, so we'll close the door. And then we have our rear dome lights. Now here's the thing though with Jeeps, a lot of users when wheeling might wanna have the doors off. If the doors are off, the pin will then activate. So it'll think the doors are open if you take them off. Well. There is an override switch over here that shows doors off. So it now defeats the whole lighting system. That way we don't have to have them on all the time. Here you can see more detail work done. So Adam has gone and put Deutsch connectors on all the lights. That way if you ever had to remove the bumper or yet to remove a light, whatever you need to service, you just go ahead and unplug it and they're weather packed so that way you don't have to worry about elements in this connector degrading over time. This is one of the best types of connectors you can put on for ease of ability to unplug and plug in and also keep the elements out. Now not everything on the vehicle has to be super expensive parts. These are actually parts that are used typically on a trailer for these marker lights. And then have the great idea is if he were to stack them, you'll get the same look because the customer wanted to have full LEDs but we couldn't find parts specifically to drop in here. So he took three, and the middle one does the marker light for front when the parking lights are on, and then the outside two, or the top and bottom, will do signal. And it's very functional, works really well, and it suits the theme of the aftermarket LED headlights. Now, you're, when you're running wiring in a Jeep, there's not really much you can do. There's not really where you can hide it. So you can see here, everything is tech flexed, insulated clamps, and none bolted in, very clean, out of the way. And then when it gets to the door sill, you don't see it anymore until it comes to the back. Now, an interesting switch over here is kind of one you don't ever really want to use. So there's a red light that shows up on the indicator and it looks like an engine with an LED light. What that is, is when we go under the hood, it's a service light. Now we don't want this to happen. We usually just want to use this to show off, but if something bad happens, if you have catastrophic failure, at least it makes life that much easier to service the engine when you're out wheeling. Well, there you guys have it. If you need a vehicle to be built for custom wiring, audio, and also rewire the engine management, there's no other better place than Certified Auto Sound.